Good morning. What is that? A note from our parents. What does it say there? Children, we had to leave urgently and we're going to be gone for a couple of days. Whoa, super. Two days without parents. But a new nanny is coming. And what happened to the previous one? Your previous nanny's sick and she won't be able to come. We love you. Hell, why every time they leave they send a babysitter? We're not kids anymore. Hello, Mid Jets. We have names. Yes, that's right. Dwarf 1 and Dwarf 2. Just because you're the bigger sister doesn't mean we're little kids. Then we're going to call you witch. You better go open the door. It must be Teacher Michael. Hi, Ava. Hello, Teacher Michael. Come in. We study every day. Why don't we go to school like normal kids? At least it's fun there, I guess. Because our parents are rich. Okay, open your notebooks. We're going to write a new topic. Wait, something's missing. Susie, wake up! Teacher Michael is here! Susie, wake up now! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, guys. I woke up already. Good morning, Susie. How is it going to be good if you're here? It's good to see you too. Let's see. Today's topic is... Who is it? It has to be our new babysitter. A new babysitter? Dang it, but we just got rid of the old one. Hi, I'm your new nanny, Sophie. Oh, there are so many of you. I can see these kids are not polite at all. Well, we go on with the class. Oh, what is it that you're doing here? Right now, we have classes. But you're not at school. It's homeschooling. Does that sound familiar? And why don't you go to school like normal kids? Well, I better shut up. Finally. Let's see. The new topic is... <laughs> Nanny Sophie. Sorry, am I interrupting you? I'm leaving now. Right, the new topic. I was telling you that the new topic. Where did our parents get her from? She's so weird. Nanny Sophie, please, you're not letting me teach the class. Oh, sorry, I won't do it again. I hope no one else bothers us. Nanny Sophie! Nanny Sophie! Nanny Sophie! Oh, what? Did you call me? Can you vacuum some other time? It's bothering me while I'm teaching the class. I thought that while you were busy, I was gonna clean. Well, that's it. I'm not gonna do it. I think she's doing it on purpose. Or she's really like that, you know? The topic of this lesson is multiplying and dividing. The first rule of multiplying... I made you some donuts. Take some while they're hot. Oh, you can have one too. Look how skinny you are. I don't want to. Thank you. I'm trying to teach a lesson here. Then they'll get cold and they won't be tasty. Eat. Come on, eat. I don't eat flour for my figure. Mmm. It's tasty. Thank you. Seve, put back that donut. You'll eat it after the class. But, teacher Michael, they smell so good. What do they have? Cherry. It's my great, great, great grandma's recipe. That's it. Class is over. Take a rest. He's upset, I think. Thank you, Nanny Sophie. You saved us from a boring class. And are you like this every day? Yes, our parents say that homeschooling is better than normal school. To me, any form of studying sucks, both at home and at school. School is so much better. There are classmates, you got the first love at school, pranks on the teachers, running to the lunchroom during lunchtime. Lunchroom? What the heck is that? Mm, for you guys, it would be like a cafe. Okay, guys, ready for PE? Break time is over. 
Uh, sports, why aren't there any class where we have to sleep in? Ready, we will start with the training. Na, 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 na. What are you doing here? Well, I thought that I could do some sports. Well, go there with the children, as long as you don't disturb. Well, I think I really like this outdoor sport. Teacher Michael, take the ball! Nanny Sophie, I see you have a good aim. Daddy, stop taking selfies, you have to help him! What if we leave him lying there? We can lie on the side to sleep. Teacher Michael, are you okay? Yes, the class is over. After sports, the important thing is to have healthy vegetables as a snack. Nanny Sophie, what are you doing? I want to prepare a salad. And why are you chopping vegetables on top of my computer? Oh, it's a computer then? I was thinking that it was a very strange table to cut vegetables. <laughs> my favorite jeans. Now my favorite show is going to start. You're going to like it. Betty, what's wrong with you? I ripped off my favorite jeans. So what? Buy yourself a pair of new ones. You guys have a lot of money. They were my favorite pants. There are no ones like these anymore. It's okay. Now we're going to fix it. They were pants and now they're shorts. Look how cute they are. Wow, thank you, Nanny Sophie. You're welcome. Now silence, it's going to start. Susie, I can't find my phone. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you hiding there? Nothing. Show me. And how come you hid your makeup? Because I don't know how to put on makeup and I want to learn, but Betty doesn't want to help me. That's not really a problem, let me show you. Do you know how to do it? Of course, I know how to do it, but with such expensive makeup, I don't know, I better bring my own makeup. How's it going? I think it's ready. Oh, it's amazing. You see, it's not difficult at all. Well done. Thank you, Nanny Sophie. And why have you gathered us all here? For a very important thing. Well, tell us what is so important. Time to move on to plan B. Saba, what plan B? Tell us what you want. Time to get rid of our new nanny. Why don't you like her now? She is a nanny, and we don't want nannies. We didn't want our previous nanny, but this one is pretty cool. Although she's a little bit weird, but I like her. Let's see, I don't understand. Did she give you money or something? Money? <laughs> how? She's poor. And how do you girls know she's poor? She wears cheap clothes. Instead of cosmetics, she uses vegetables. She can't even tell the difference between a computer and a vegetable cutting board. That does not mean anything. Sava, no one's thinking of getting rid of her. I see that you're not understanding. She's a nanny. We are children. Don't you see? Yeah, we see it. You're crazy. According to all the laws of nature, we have to make fun of her. She has to get angry, then leave, and everybody's happy and crazy. Have you said it all? I'm leaving. You have mental problems. I don't know what to tell you. The only thing I know is you're crazy. I'm your brother. Well, I'll do it all myself. Teacher Michael, how's your head? Stay away from me. Why are you afraid of me? You're crazy. Since you got here, everything has gotten worse. Let's see, we have not started our friendship well. I wish I hadn't met you. Teacher Michael, why is it so hard? I want us to get along. We'll get along if you leave this place. And I thought we would be friends. Sava, where are the others? I don't know, it's just me here. 
What's that? Uh, nothing. I'm just writing down some ideas. Look, listen to me. We have to talk. I understand that for a teacher it is not right. But we have to get rid of that new nanny. Oh, at least there's one smart person here. I've already started to make a plan on how to do it. On how? Do you have ideas? Yes, I have some. I don't understand why Sava doesn't like nanny Sophie. I don't know, she seems very nice to me. She has taught me to put on makeup without using cosmetics. How is that? With the help of vegetables. And she has turned my old pants into shorts. We finally got lucky with the nanny and now he doesn't like her. I think he will understand she is good with time. It's gonna be the most delicious cake of your life. <laughs> Isn't it much, maybe? This? Of course not. It's just a warm up. I put them in the shoes of the previous nanny. Okay, okay, I'll write it not now. Agree. Uh, nanny Sophie, I wanted to tell you something. Yes, Sava, tell me. I like the fact that you are our nanny and I wanted to surprise you with something. Really, Sava? Thank you, I love it. Here, this cake's for you. I think you will like it. It looks very delicious. Oh, wait, is this... Worms! I love them! Thank you! How did you know I like them? What? You like them? Well, yes, I don't have much money and sometimes I had to eat what I could find. Will you? No. Um... I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> he thinks he can scare me with some simple worms. It looks like it's going to be harder than I thought. I seriously thought that after something like that she was going to run away. This time our enemy is stronger than usual. We need extreme measures. Do you have any idea? I have to think about it. Nanny Sophie, we want to tell you something. Do you have a surprise for me too? Yes, how do you know that? Sava has already shown me his surprise. I think ours is better. Well, show me. You're so good and sweet. You are doing so much for us that we want to do something nice for you too. We want to invite you to go shopping with us. We'll pay for everything. Girls, I think it's really cool, but I can't accept it. But why? We insist. Please, please. Well, if you insist so much. They've gone shopping. It's our chance. What's the plan? Here are her bags. Let's hide inside. And when she comes back, we'll scare her. Sava, she hasn't even been scared by the worms. Do you think this is going to scare her? Surprise is the most important element in this situation. Well, let's see. How do I get in here? Teacher Michael, how is it going? I can't breathe and I can't feel my legs anymore. I think there's not so much time left. Normally, they do not take more than three hours to go shopping. How much? Seva, I won't take that long. Enough, you're not a girl. Hold on. Thanks, girls. It was really great, you know? Yeah, by the way, that one fits you very well. Thanks, Ava. I'll put my old things in the bag. Boo! Boo! Ah! <sighs> Sav, are you crazy? Teacher Michael, don't you have anything better to do? How did you even get in there? Not a bit scared? Oh, how scary! My heart! Oh. I told you it would work! It's my favorite bag! Haven't you broken it? <laughs> <laughs> See? This is useless! Teacher Michael, it seems we have lost this war! Has everyone put on their pajamas? Yes! yes! We'll go to sleep. Tomorrow I have a surprise for you. Which surprise? I won't tell you. Tomorrow you'll know. Hey, it's not fair. Now I won't be able to sleep because I'm thinking about surprise all night. I won't tell you anyways. Later. I wonder what 
what surprise she has prepared for us. I don't know. Let's go to sleep. I want to know as soon as possible. Let's see. Come on in. Come on in a little more. Can we take off our masks now? Yes, you can. Wow. Super. Where are we? It's a school. What? Is it a real school? Yes, and you will spend the whole day here. Seriously? Thanks, Nanny Sophie. I've never been to a real school. You can have fun until the end of the day. Hooray! <laughs> I want to go back to school. Yes, it's so very cool. I really envy the kids who study at school all day. It's so fun. Oh, where were you guys? Why have you missed the classes? We have been watching classes at school. What's cool? The one where I studied and they liked being there more than here with you. When will you disappear from my life? Thank you, Nanny Sophie. It has been the best date of my life. You see, I told you guys that school is much better. Now, I want to study at a normal school. The important thing is to convince our parents. I think you'll make it. It's time to say goodbye to you. Already? What if you stay? I can't. Your parents are coming and I have to go now. Will you come back to us later? We will be waiting for you. Nanny Sophie, I wanted to confess that I wanted to get rid of you. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. You're a great nanny. Sav, I understand. I was a little girl too, but I hope we'll see each other soon. Bye-bye!